So your skin will give you a lot of clues on what's going on deep inside. So today we're going to talk about the seven skin warning signs of diabetes. And this could also be pre-diabetes. Now there's actually more than seven, but these are the main ones. Number one, a dark patch of velvety skin, usually in the back of the neck, armpit, groin. And the medical term for that, not that you really care, is called acanthosis nigricans. Number two, hard, thickened skin, especially on your knuckles, so in the back of the hand, also on the toes. Number three, boils, okay? That is definitely related to blood sugars and cysts, like the Baker cyst. That is a blood sugar problem. And even if you don't have diabetes or even pre-diabetes, if you have insulin resistance, I've seen a lot of people who just get these boils and they wonder why, because their blood sugars or carbs are just too high. Number four, itchy, dry rashes. A lot of people have this, they go to the dermatologist and they're trying to figure this out. They get put on cortisone creams, prednisone, which basically increases the blood sugars, makes it worse as soon as, soon as they come off the medication. When in fact, if they went on a good keto diet with intermittent fasting, this would probably go away. Bed sores, and this mainly has to do with the effect of high sugar on your circulation to your vascular system, to the capillaries, and to the skin. Number six, skin tags. And the skin tag really comes from a virus. And so being a diabetic puts you at risk of having these viruses come out of remission and creating skin tags. And seven, red or brown spots on the lower legs or your shin. That's called a diabetic dermopathy. And you're getting, again, poor circulation in the lower part of your body, not to mention nerve damage in your feet, but many times if you look at a diabetic's ankles or their lower part of their legs, you have edema, swelling, and it could be even shiny. They have a loss of hair and they have these red and brown spots. Gangrene, that would be a skin change. That's more advanced uh, when you actually lose circulation in your toes and then you, it starts to change color.